Welcome back to your gaming sabbatical. Mike, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to go over basic tutorial beginner's guide for guardians. Guardians. Let's talk about the real deal about guardians. Real deal. Yeah. Now, guardians are gods with high sustain and generally low damage output. Their main strength is going to be coming from their crowd controlling abilities, their stuns, their isolations, and their taunts, and their AoEs to protect and set up allied gods, as well as put some damage in the mix, or stun for that matter. The first category we want to go over is high sustain or high defense. Yes. Now, that is basically going to mean hard to kill. They're going to get in there, they're going to be sucking up the damage. They're going to be taking it, and they're going to be able to bounce out of there quick. So now Geb, for example, he has high high defense, high health. He rolls in, smacks down, and if worst case scenario, he gets caught up in some shit, has a shield that he throws on himself, and he's able to get out. Yes, and never forget about a Guardian's best friend, the Blink. And that's also to get in or to get out. Yeah. Now Bach is also another perfect example of some a god with high sustain. His passive ability allows him to take up to 15% less damage from enemy god. He goes up there, he deals more damage, he takes less damage, he has AoEs, he has stuns, he has disorienting AoEs, he does fair amount of damage if built the right way. So now in addition to the high health and high defense, that makes it perfect for body block. Now body blocking is going to be the act of standing in between an enemy and an ally, which to prevent further damage to yeah. the ally. So now let's go on to the main beefy point of this, which is going to be crowd control. That's what makes a guardian fantastic. So now Cal, first crowd control. Crowd control will basically be your stuns, your stuns and your freezes, the way to cut off. Now, Ymir is excellent because not only does he have a wall to put up to stop an enemy from running, he also has his freeze attack, which will freeze someone, stun them for two to three seconds. Humbakarna, another great example. He could dash in there and pop his sleep AoE, stunning them. And that's either going to allow your allies to come and focus and kill that god, isolate that enemy, or it's going to allow an injured ally to run and escape. So now many of the other guardians offer uh, kind of a grab or a pull, much like Ares or Hades yes. does. Yes. They kind of bring everyone into one specific point of just utter destruction and chaos. Yes. Because enemy gods are getting pulled in, allied gods are targeting that area. Now guardians aren't meant to attack any one single god. High single target damage is not a pro of any Guardian. So most of their abilities are meant to damage, stun, or disorient multiple gods at once. Now the AoE for, let's say, Bacchus or Cabracken, their AoEs are gigantic. And also yeah. it, it disorients, stuns, confuses, slows enemies in that area. Let's talk about item setups. Now, Mostly you're going to go defense. Now depending on what kind of match type what kind of build you're going for, you're generally going to want three items of defense, which is a magical, a physical, and generally the hide of the urchin, which is magical and physical. Now, my recommendation for item builds is mainly going to be defense, but also auras that help out your teammates as well. Yes. Because of the fact that you're going to be in the mix of everything, you're going to be pulling gods in, you're going to be around enemy gods the entire time, chances are your allies will want to back you up, deal damage. They're always going to be around you. People are always going to be around you, so if you have auras that are beneficial to your teammates, or if you have auras that slow the attack speed of enemies, or the, the hit rate of enemies, whatever it might be. Drops their defense. You're their always, defense is down, their healing's down. Auras are the best way to go. You're always going to be in the middle of somebody, so aura is definitely the best way to go while increasing your own defense. A lot of information coming at you really quick. Feel free to watch it one or two times again. Feel free to check out the team chemistry series that we do. Also stay tuned for other class tutorials, such as hunters and mages.